it's boy John here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are actually recording a video at 11:02 p.m. I just had to get caught up, so I just thought, why not do a video now? Because I have nothing to do. My brother's asleep over here, and he's watching some PJ Masks stuff. So we're just gonna watch, react to a a gold digger prank. Prank, and it says, "I finally went on a public date with a gold digger." Gold Digger Pink 2018. <laughs> so, if you want to see stuff like this all the time without seeing me react to it, go subscribe to UD. And besides that, let's get straight into the video. Give me a second. Hold on. Alright, let's get into it. Hope you guys love it because I finally got an editing system. Hope you love the. Uh, Everything. No, in order to be respectful, prevent any defamation, and keep you all oh, guessing. guessing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I also don't want to get sued. I have a no conversation to make. If your girlfriend actually ends up being a gold digger, how would you feel if I ended up taking her out on a date? <laughs> Meet the homie Jake. Today we are pressing his girlfriend like Jasmine that. to Meet the gold digger test. Jake's a photographer who buys his girlfriend plenty of things from the money he makes from his gig. The reason he does so is because he just wants her to be happy. But is he being a good boyfriend or is he just paying extra to have a girlfriend? Let's figure that out. She ends up giving me her number. She ends up saying, yeah, she'll go on a date with me. Wouldn't you want to find out if she would actually end up going on that date with me? Because I would. I know I would. <laughs> and as part of the proposition, if she doesn't end up going on a date with me or give me your number, I will eat a live cockroach. <laughs> yes. That is my proposition to you. I'll never do that. Do we have a deal? I had a friend that ate with like a million ants in kindergarten, but besides that, I'm never going to eat it. Let's describe the situation. Catching gold diggers, man. This is old intro. His old so intro is better. Be really interesting because I don't want to eat a live cockroach, but at the same time, I don't want Jasmine to be a gold digger. By the way, it might not be Christmas by the time you guys watch this, but Merry Christmas and just in case, Happy New Year. Today we have asked Joe to bring his girlfriend Jasmine to this location for a supposed date. Jasmine has no idea that in reality, this is a location where she will be tested. We have set up and hidden our cameras properly. Joe has arrived with his girlfriend, and now all that's left for him to do is make up an excuse to leave her alone. So six minutes. Gosh, more correct guys. So six minutes is as long as he's gonna leave alone. My brother Joe. This is Leslie. Uh, go ahead and put on his headphones so you can hear everything that I'm gonna be telling her. I'm gonna grab my bag, make my entrance. He's oh, like so dating that girl next to me. Next to that black guy. Nothing racist, I don't know his name. Hi there. My name's Sergio. So nice to meet you. So racist. I'm sorry guys. So I didn't mean to say that. I've been around too many of my friends, and they've been saying so well, bad crap. There, I saw you right like, I've been up edge with my I friends. To come and say, you are really, really beautiful. So nothing offensive. Also, I was wondering I'm if sorry. perhaps I could get your number. That way, I could take you out like on a nice date or something. Thank you, but I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. This opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. Are you sure? You positive, is it? Okay. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I am used to rejection. That was only part one of why I came up to you, though. Part two is because I wanted to give you a present. <laughs> I would slap him. Yes, I did. Uh, let me see here. This one is good right over here. Ooh. There you go. Very good. <laughs> yes, for real. I don't believe it's you. yours. How do you not believe me? Take it. It's yours. I can't. Where did you even come from? Why, why are you doing this? I came. I'm Santa, and it's Christmas time. I came from the North Pole. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Take it. No, thank you. No, I'm just why? Kidding. Because like. Covering like a door. I'm gonna right here. It's yours. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna. You're not obligated to give me your phone number. I'm just kidding. No. Oh, are you serious? Yes. Like. I'm not obligating you to give me. I just really want to give you this. No. I'm you don't want this. I'm sure. 
See guys, at this moment, things got very complicated. See, I had a plan to get this girl's number, but in order for it to work, I needed this girl to take this present. Once she accepted this present, I was gonna offer her the rest of these presents in exchange for her phone number. If she said no, I was ready to pull out another gift from the bag, open it, and reveal to her that it actually had money. I would then reveal to her that all of these gifts actually had money and she could keep them, except for the one that I had just opened because I did put the most money in that one. Anyways, once she found out that all of these gifts had money, then it would be the perfect time to ask for her number one last time. But see, my plan is failing because she won't even take this present. Do you know what you're missing out on? Yeah, she doesn't want the present at all. I think that's good. I'm not really sure, though. There's money in here. Let me show you. Let me show you in this. There is cash in here. Oh, there's some money like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars. Are you serious? Yes, there's money in all of these gifts. Should I ask for that? Yes, I'm going around getting people money disguised as presents. Pretty crazy, right? Why didn't you just come up, give me the gift, and then ask me to find out? Isn't that what I did? <laughs> what is, what's the, what's the difference in logic? Like, it would have. That's what he did, though. Like, it just seemed like you had a hidden agenda or something. So remember the plan that I told you guys about that I wanted to use to get her number? Okay, forget all of that because I guess I won't be needing it after all. <laughs> you know what? Here, okay, let's forget this ever happened. Let's start all over with your logic, okay? Let's start all over. <laughs> Here we go, okay, ready? Hi, my name's Sergey. It's so nice to meet you. What's your name? Jasmine. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Jasmine. I saw you sitting here by yourself and you're really, really beautiful and I... One, two, <laughs> yeah, okay. Merry yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Don't open it right now. Don't open it till you get home. Okay. I was also wondering if I could get your phone number. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I know this is going. <laughs> Ready, please. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, I don't know exactly how much so bad, man. I saw that in that one, it was 500, but there could be five, there could be 10, there could be 20. When we go on our date, Bro. I get you an even bigger. That guy looks nice. You're that guy looks it. so <laughs> nice as this other watch. girl. Okay. Pleasure meeting you. I'm going to go hand the, the white rest of these idiot out she is. Taking it. I'll never <laughs> do that to anybody. It's, actually so it's just so cruel, mean, and you're just using people. So, um, technically, I get to take her on a date, like we agreed upon, but I don't want to, unless you're okay with it, so. If you're uncomfortable with it, if you don't want me to, then it's perfectly fine, man, we don't have to. We can go confront her right now if you want to, or you can not confront her at all, it's so cool. Honestly, I'm just gonna take a piss and think about it. Alright? You're gonna what? You take a piss and think about it. Okay. Alright? You're gonna what? What? Take a piss and think about it. Go to McDonald's, go on the floor. He's gonna take a piss. Think about it. Just take a piss. Wait for him to take a piss. Joe, we're outside. Do it. Do it? Do it. Are you sure? I'm positive. Are you 100% serious? Positive. Joe. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go grab some pizza. So text me whenever you're ready. Do it. This is crazy. This is insane. What in the world am I really going to be doing this? I guess I'm gonna be going out with a gold digger. <laughs> it looks like I've never seen him do this. So it'll be over by this point and they'll be like, As I'm sure you guys keep know, digging, I but never ever take these girls out on a date after I end up getting their phone number. That's why tonight is very rare, special, and very nerve-wracking also. The objective As for tonight is to keep this date simple. We will be heading out in two separate cars with me in one and Leslie Denzel and Joe in the other. They will follow behind me as I pick up Jasmine, take her out someplace to eat, and then as I drive her back to my apartment. Well, that's if she agrees to come back to my apartment. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna use this opportunity right now to give a big old shout out to EDU Birdie because thanks to them we're able to bring you guys these videos still because be a little weird like i just met this guy the other day and he's struggling with an essay go check him out guys which... get someone to write it for you it's completely oh, man, it's, cool. it's fast it's easy and you don't pay for that essay until you are satisfied with it okay now i'm gonna jump in the car and go pick up jasmine all right guys so we're currently following sergio right now to go pick up jasmine joe how do you feel man 
Um, nervous for sure. All right, guys, I, think I know he feels really incredible. Then we look at his Sergio's girlfriend, who is the girl that usually wears the red headphones. How does she feel about this crap? Does she really allow this? How are you? You know, be good, 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 good. It'll be funny if she saw the guy's face. If she saw Joe's face. It'd be like, oh. Were you hungry still? No. Okay, what do you want to get? Tacos? Yes, I am. Okay. Taco Bell? Oh, yeah. Or you want like, some. Once we get there, try to. I'm down with it. Taco Bell. Let's just go inside and order, and then we'll just like go eat it somewhere. Yo, honestly, can you ask Sergio if it's cool if I get in the trunk of the car? <laughs> Wait, what? Please, ask him. <laughs> Joe, 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 why? Why do you want to be in the trunk, Joe? He said, yeah, it's cool. So it's cool? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So Joe wants to get into the trunk right now. <laughs> I'm gonna let him in. I'm gonna go pop the trunk open from the window right here. Oh, Joe's a crazy guy. <laughs> Guys, this would be a very good time to grab your tacos because the way things are going, you guys are. Why is it gonna be a truck? It's bro. Oh, hell no. I'll never do that again. There's so much shit back here. Yo, oh my gosh, he is in the truck. Yo, he is in the truck. Okay, um. No, screw this. I'm wearing Antonio Brown jersey. That's when you know things are getting pumped when you wear your team's jersey. And I'm paused on that face. One, I got this for my birthday. Alright, so we'll just show it off. So let's show off the Antonio Brown jersey, which I'll be wearing this jersey the whole rest of the Madden series, which will be out tomorrow. Well, Wednesday, I'm recording this 11 p.m. I mean, yeah, p.m. on Monday. And scheduling it for tomorrow, then Wednesday, part five will be up. Man, can't wait for you guys to see. Okay. I think Wednesday, Thursday, one, two. Saturday, I might actually do special. What do you want to do actually after we eat? Do you want to like watch a movie or something? How about we watch a movie at home? I have like an in home movie. You down for that? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Yes. That's like that. I would think like, I just met this guy. Man, if they get pulled over, they're screwed. Alright, so what movies you want to watch? <laughs> okay, wait one second before you get out of the car. I have something that I want to give you, and I'm going to record this. <laughs> Remember when I got your number, I told you that if we went on a date, I was going to get you like a movie. It's in the trunk. <laughs> just please don't step out of the car. Please just close your eyes. Don't look. Don't peek, okay? okay. I'm serious. Okay. okay? Ready? Close your eyes. Here's don't peek. Eyes. I'm going to get it. What are you doing? Get the f*** out the car, Jasmine. Are you f***ing cheating on me? Jasmine, I have a confession to make. This You're entire thing lying. was actually just part of a big, giant test. Like, the truth is, Joe You're and I have actually liar. been working together because we wanted to see if he would actually end up going out with me because of my money. You're and a f***ing you gold digger, Jasmine. How, how am I a f***ing gold digger? Because you're willing to skip your way to the top, even though you clearly have a f***ing boyfriend. And please, don't take these cameras away. I want everyone to see what a f***ing gold digger is. Stop stupid job not sleeping my way to the top. Then why are you here? Because we're hanging out. No, you're not, Jasmine. You're on a date. It's late at night. No one's around. You're in a fucking car. We're not hanging. And you're about to go watch a fucking movie liar. in my apartment. Okay, we, we got to talk about where you're my girlfriend. <laughs> you not get anything. Jasmine, you know you're lying to him if you start telling him it doesn't mean anything or that nothing was going to happen between you and I. Like, you know this was a just date. A we labeled talk. it a date. Talk. You know, if, if this was any other girl or guy in our position, they would have fucking done something by tonight. I'm just here. I'm just going to cheat on me when I catch you. I'm going to drop a new. Then why are you trying to get out of here like you did something wrong now? What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with that? You're disrespecting me, accusing me, recording me, and 
Oh, I'm talking about this bullshit. You can't bullshit. sue him for recording me because they ain't covered face. Lying and cheating is you, Jasmine. Why don't, don't try to put this shit around Jasmine, on me, all right? Like, he no, knows everything. Bro. He knows. Caught you. Nah, nah. He, 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 he saw you give me a I'm not going to show you what happened to one. Oh right. my god! How's it feel to get exposed, Jasmine? How do you feel to lie to your boyfriend having right captured on camera? Move! Huh? Can you move out of my way? That. Leave my fucking number. I knew, I knew he was gonna be mad when. Get out! Like, stop! Like, get out! All the way down. Yo. That's a lot of bleeping that got to do, man. Guys, honestly, that's a lot of bleeping. Joe's Instagram. I need you oh, guys to right please, there, man. please, please, please go show him some mad love. Let him know that everything is going to be okay. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. I will gladly follow this guy. My guy. I guess that's the end of the video, guys. All right, so I'll see you all in the next one. If you liked it, We'll hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications because we lost a lot of subscribers as I was trying to find this editing system because I had to take another break to find an editing system. I finally did it. Now I gotta get back on track to get back to 100. I'm gonna have to do another live stream for it. Be like, can I have my 100 back, please? So, let's do that. What, which I'm subscribed and notified by UD Pranks um, because I wanna. Well, record more videos of me reacting to this and I hope you all have an amazing day and just yeah that's all I gotta say